On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we're still car shopping for Lamborghini. What is going on guys? I am Watch Chair Go and today we are here in the 2019 BMW i8 base. This has the Terra World package, I think, and uh, Amber's gonna see what she thinks about this for a daily. Seems reasonable. Also, uh, we're gonna see if she can get out. Can you wanna hop out real quick? Um, also, it? yeah, yeah. Push that button. Open the door. I do. Oh, okay, I see. Just like that. I thought it would open itself. <laughs> this is like the most awkward car to get in and out of. You gotta really like angle yourself in here and I'm, just like. I'm ready to see this. Out. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, two foot high door sills here. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> All right, let's put some gas in this thing. Woo! You do have to leave the doors up wherever you are. I'm that's for the sure. Best way is the roll and crawl out. The roll and crawl? Yeah. Uh oh. We better go help them. Also, here's the key for the I 8. Uh, will you put gas in? I'll go tip them. Yeah, where's it at? Right there. The doors look amazing. These big swoops look amazing right there. Oh, such a good looking car. The most economical thing we've driven so far. By far, I think. It almost gets 35 miles a gallon. It's like it's like a way <laughs> nicer bolt. 22 uh, miles on a battery charge. Kind of cool. Right now the battery's dead and it was out of gas. All right, you ready to hop in this beast? Yeah. Make my awkward self more awkward. <laughs> okay, I want to take it for a quick drive first, then we'll let Amber take over. The driver's side is twice as hard as the passenger side. This is how I'm getting in. <laughs> it's tricky. Uh, the Huracan's kind of tricky, but this, this one... This is worse. Yeah, you really have to twist yourself to get in. All right, let's have some fun. I wish this car had the smart key, it does not. The big digital one. Okay, so now that we've got some power, let's see if we can put it in sport mode. Uh, drive. Drive. Sport. All right, sport is red. I'll show you guys the gauges. There's comfort, eco pro, back to comfort. Sport turns everything red, looks kind of cool and uh, it sounds like the engine did start because the engine is supposed to spend some time charging the battery so you can go have fun in sport mode. I do have to say a huge thank you to Walzer BMW here in Wichita for uh, loaning us this car for the day, letting Amber check it out and uh, decide if it's something she's interested in for a daily. We just drove into this huge storm, which is kind of cool. We're gonna test out the auto wipers. Just massive raindrops. And then uh, it looks like it's raining right up there. It was raining right back there. It's just not raining everywhere. It's really just a small cloud that's right <laughs> yeah. on top of us. Pouring rain. All right, so the wipers are on auto and looks like they're doing their magic just like they should. Let's see, we've got uh, a little map there. Nice 3D map. Control layout is awesome. It's very driver focused as you would expect from a car where, you know, two seats, super car, price range at least. We've got a USB port right there. Beautiful carbon right here. Shifter modes, cameras. Let's see the cameras. Ah, front camera. We have heated seats in here, but no cooled seats. A little disappointing. Uh, we've got the BMW phone dock in here, a 12 volt accessory port, three cup holders, which is impressive. I mean, obviously you can hit, fit four people in here. Uh, it's a four seat supercar. Although uh, sitting in the back though, those are literally just foam pads. Sure looks cool. Uh, we've got awesome glass out the back. You can see there's a glass window and that opens up to another glass window way back there. We need to open this up and take a look. I haven't looked for storage. I haven't opened the front. I bet it's probably pretty cool. Asking price on this right now, this is used. $100,998. So $101,000 plus, you know, eight, 9% tax. Step one of uh, cars with vertical doors, always trade drivers at stoplights. <laughs> Mission accomplished. 
I do think you're gonna have to hit start again. How's it feel? It actually is easier to get in on this side. I think you like I think it's way harder to get in on that side because you have to go completely sideways. Yeah. <laughs> I love the accent lighting around the uh, it looks shift real nice. center I actually here. really like all the blue. Yeah, the blue looks great. Uh, everything around you glows. You've got accent lighting in here. This is all blue. Uh, emergency releases for the doors right here. I wish of we course. had this like at night so we could see it all lit up. Oh, it'd be awesome to have at night for sure. Makes good sounds. Looks like your phone can sit right there or something. My thoughts are, once you're inside the i8 and driving it, it just feels like any other BMW. The steering feels the same. It's got a nice, big, thick steering wheel on it. BMW loves doing that. What do you think now that you've driven it for a couple seconds? I actually like this a lot. I, uh, more than I thought I would. Yeah? It feels nice. feels nice to drive. Very fun. Using your turn signal. First rule of BMW ownership. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't driven enough BMWs to know all the rules. The <laughs> phone, nav, vehicle settings, apps, all that good stuff. What? what? How much <laughs> throttle is that? I don't know. Half throttle or something? Yeah, it wasn't very much at all. Yeah, it <laughs> Just felt good. It always sounded. <laughs> Absolutely. Having fun. It throws a lot of electric power at that to make the magic happen, too. In a slightly strange turn of events here, I just realized the windows don't roll all the way down. They stop with that little gap right there, which is a little bit odd. It's kind of an awkward angle to like have your arm it off is the window way, anyways. way up like there. Just your arm fits out. And uh, we'll let it auto down just so you guys can see where it stops. That's it. It's all the window there is. Both of these guys like stop to flex on the i8. All right, let's check out the i8 exterior. I wonder if the camera does that tilt thing. That would be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, let's figure out what we're getting into here. Here's the rear glass for the hatch. And that is our storage here. Oh, look at that. There's actually quite a bit of storage covered up by that little cover there. You probably fit like four boxes of shoes in there. <laughs> you could. What's in all the little cubby holes here? This is probably the front license plate holder there. Uh, that's uh, fix a flat in the tow hook. Cool. Air compressor in there. There's an emergency release. I wonder what these do. Hey, it's hot. It's probably the engine. Check it out. It has the laser projection headlights. There's a laser warning in there and big LED swoop and everything's highlighted with nice white LEDs. Looks amazing. There's a front camera. And this car just looks so good parked. What do you think? Do you like the way it looks? I do. It looks real nice. <laughs> Perfect daily. I think so. It's sitting on 215 40 20s. Nice big wheels, huge brakes. Man, it just looks right. And here's that carbon chassis, which looks so good. Carbon all the way down through there, all the way up. Lift strap for the door is nice and thick. And the seats look wonderful too. So honestly, the i8 seems like a pretty simple car. We've got fuel right there for the gas engine and uh, charging ports in the front. And there's not a lot of controls in this car. It just seems easy to drive. What do you think? What are your thoughts I, on the i8? I like the way I handle. Steering is nice. What do you think about dailying it? I think it's the perfect daily. <laughs> Plenty of storage, <laughs> awesome doors. It's fun and it's a uh, Relatively good gas efficient. Mileage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, that's really the perfect daily. That's it. say the i8 is uh, really high off the ground for how low it looks and you don't have to worry about it scraping anywhere it doesn't have a front lift or anything like that because it's just not sitting on the ground and uh, it's just an easy car to drive i'm a fan i mean if you drive a three series five series you're used to driving a car like this and it will feel about the same 
Well, no BMW adventure would be complete without Starbucks. I'm pretty sure it's a requirement for driving. So, let's get some coffee. Well, we're gonna see if uh, you can get out of the I-8 when somebody parks absolutely terribly beside you. I kinda don't think you can. I kinda don't think I'm gonna have to but get real just, skinny Yeah, real go fast. ahead and hit the button. And let's see what happens here. It may go straight up. I actually can't see where it's at. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's it'll about clear. as close as I want to go. I'm pretty sure it clears. I don't wanna see if it Alright, let's go find out. Look at that. Oh, it actually does a lot better than I thought it would. It fits really well with people that park terribly. It looked terrifying because I thought it was going to keep going out. But yes. it goes up eventually. Yeah, it really goes straight up. Okay. Living with the BMW i8. Hop in, Amber. See if I can get in here with no hands. <laughs> we should do a Doug DeMiro reviews, but instead of uh, a Doug score, it only has a daily score. There's nothing else. Just <laughs> how usable is it? This, but every this has been the number one daily that we've had so far. I think so, yeah. I will say it has way less storage space than the 370 though. Yeah, that is true. But it has back seats, so that's storage, right? It, <laughs> sure, yeah, that's actually a lot, really. Well, now that we got Starbucks, I'd say we're ready to drive around in our BMW all through the city. We're gonna run through some corners up here, see how the handling is. And then we're gonna go stop by a buddy of mine's house who just picked up a Jaguar XKR. And man, Jaguar knows how to make everything with an R look absolutely stunning. Jesse's house is about to storm, so we're definitely not getting anything out. Of course it's about to storm, but there's the i8, and look at this. Is that not an awesome garage? XKR, Corvette, C6 Corvette, and this beautiful Viper with silver stripes on blue. <sighs> love, love, love. What year is this? 06. 06? Man, that's the end of the third gens, right? 06 is the last third right. gen. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful car. Love the color. What do you think about the i8? Beautiful. I want it. It's such a good looking car. Yes. Yeah, Compliments the driveway well. Oh, it's, it goes up. As it turns out, this is just a really good car. Not to mention a really good daily, I think. Uh, it might be a little space constrained if you're trying to store a lot of stuff, but I mean, it's got four seats. If you, I mean, if there's an emergency, it has four seats. They are not comfy. I rode that there a second ago. <laughs> and first off, I'm not a very tall person and my head was touching the ceiling. And then yeah. you're at like an angle forward. It does like rake your body forward, which is pretty yes. crazy. It's kind of like you're riding a uh, like a bobber or something, you know, you got that nice angle forward stance going Except on. Except your face is in a seat in front of you. <laughs> All right, so maybe it's, it's a little tough to use the back seats, but hey, at least it has some back seats. And uh, I think this could be, this could be the daily. I would, I would love this as a daily. So if everybody donates $1 a month on Patreon, I think it's uh, patreon.com slash watch I don't know for sure actually, because we've only talked about it one time. But uh, if that happens, then we'll go ahead and pick one up for Amber. A used one, an old one for like 50 grand. <laughs> not not a hundred for a new one. This was a little bit out of my yeah. actual original price range. Not to mention there's zero difference in like a new one and an old one. But the old ones are only like 2015, so it's not, yeah, yeah they're not old new at cars, all. New cars, yeah. yeah. And it's all the same. And uh, of course, I, we think there's a redesign coming up for the i8 where it goes all electric and becomes a true supercar very fast uh, and they'll just get rid of the engine, fill it with batteries and a big electric motor and this thing will be a rocket ship. But uh, for the time being, uh, you can just look at older ones. There's plenty of them for sale at any given time and this car has a amazing lines. Is it quick? Here, let's one time, we gotta get on it. Okay.
the fake yeah. engine noises. So good. I thought I would hate that. <laughs> no, it's such a good sound. Honestly, on the uh, M235i, it does that too. And I love it in that car. Amazingly good. I always, when it first came out, I was like, oh, it's so dumb and it's fake. And I'm going to unhook the speakers because it makes that noise, right? Or take the speed sensor away so it can't do it, you know? I had so many ideas on how we should disable the engine noise making system. Well, that's always what I thought until I would actually rode in this. And you love it. Yeah. It's really good. It makes just the perfect sound. It's just... It's a good sound. I want to know what it sounds like outside. It, probably like nothing. Yeah, I bet it just I sounds like tire noise outside. It probably doesn't make any noise. That's what I wanted to know. Absolutely. Once again, I have to give a huge thank you to Walzer BMW for loaning us this for the day and uh, letting Amborghini check it out here, decide if she likes it for a daily, and uh, experience the car. It's actually way better than you would expect. Honestly, we all know that it's down on performance, but it looks great. Man, the, it was way overpriced when it was new, but in the used market, it's kind of an excellent value. The doors go up. I mean, there are some really huge benefits to this car. And if you're into getting attention while you're going down the road, people are like almost running into you to take pictures of the car, which is crazy. Uh, Amber posted a picture on Instagram, tons of attention. Everybody's messaging her saying it's their favorite car. Uh, and it just, it does look really good. The screens are HD. It does what it's supposed to do. Drives like a BMW. I think it feels totally fine. And performance is adequate to roll around town. So yeah, that's, that's the overview of the i8 at least from my perspective. Thank you guys so much for watching, and that is it for today. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Now we have it in all electric mode, which is completely silent. And it shuts off the engine sounds too. It's super cool. It sounds like we're in like an electric Pikes Peak hill climb car or that VWR that just ran the Nurburgring. It's still quick. It disables the paddle shifters too. It just says D. I don't want to park it. I really want to keep this car now. I know. It's such a fun car. But hey, we've got the Volt. It's fully charged. It's basically the same thing, right? Plug-in hybrid. It's a little bit different. <laughs> Just a little bit different. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to back this up into its home. Okay, here comes our 3D camera. And get over the curb. Perfect. I wish we, there's not a top down view on the camera. That's the only thing that's a little bit iffy. It should 100% have top down. But we have this backup camera and it's nice. Uh, I'm gonna get a second hit just because, not that we need to, but. JR told me we couldn't keep it all night because we would spend all of our time driving it and we wouldn't get any work done. Yeah, we would not be doing work. <laughs> the tail lights look amazing on this car. Look at that. Storm. It's like a tornado coming in. We've got the yellow skies. Trees are getting crazy. The rain's coming down sideways. And that's not even how they started raining. No. The wind is kind of insane. It looks like this is going to be another big one.